Good morning. Uh, my name is Ikuko Ota. I am the director of the gynecology department at Kurasuki Heisei Hospital. First of all, I am very grateful to Vincent for giving me a, such a wonderful opportunity. So, due to time construct lines, this time I will talk about bone metabolism during adolescence. First of all, Many guidelines recommended that COCs are the first choice for the treatment of adolescent endometriosis. However, there are some problems with the use of EPs in the treatment of growing adolescent endometriosis. This time I will raise two problems due to estradiol contained in COCs. First, the COVID-19 pandemic puts many women with endometriosis at risk of infection. At the time of COVID-19 infection, the risk of thrombosis due to hypercoagulable states has been pointed out, and it is necessary to consider the use of estradiol preparations that increase the risk of thrombosis by about twice. Second, in recent years, it has been reported that the peak bone mass decreases when COC are used from the early stage of adolescence. Why estradiol included in COCs? Originally, the Pathophysiology of endometriosis is estrogen dominance and progesterone resistance. It is necessary to administer progesterone. Progesterone is a primary intermediate in the steroid synthesis. Therefore, many progestins are synthesized from androgens. They have androgenic effect. Therefore, the sufficient amount of progestins orally that is effective for endometriosis exhibits androgenic effects. So, in order to contract the androgenic action of progestin, estradiol, which is a high potency estrogen, was added. So, it is suggested that treatment with progestin alone is a better choice. Dynogest is a host generation progestin with an anti androgenic activity. Since it has no androgenic and culture card effects, a sufficient amount can be orally administered. However, it has been pointed out that estrogen decrease when a sufficient amount that is effective for endometriosis is administered alone. As a result, there has been concern about a decrease in bone density due to a decrease in estrogen. In 2020, Dynagest 1 mg was released in Japan. Therefore, we investigated for effect of using 1 mg of dinogast in adolescent women with endometriosis and its effect on, turn on bone turnover. Does dinogast 1 mg affect bone turnover during adolescent? How, first, I will show about the bone growth in the adolescent women. Bone density at the beginning of height growth and the secondary sexual characteristics in lower than that of older, with, older women with osteoporosis. This period is very important for bone growth and it reaches the bone maturation period after the bone elongation period and the bone density increase period. It becomes the peak bone mass with the highest bone density at the time of reaching the bone maturation period. Mm -hmm. 
Here is a bone remodeling cycle. Bone uh, remodeled, remodeled in cycle of about three months. Bones are constantly scrapping and building. First, osteoclasts resolve all the bones, bad bones and microfractures. Osteoblasts then form new bone. Bone strengths and bone density change depending on the variance of this scrap and build. This variance is called bone turnover and it is said to account for about 30% of bone strengths. Bone metabolism markers are used to assess this bone turnover. Bone metabolism markers are divided into bone resumption marker and bone absorption marker, and many markers have been reported. This time we selected TRAP 5B as a bone resumption marker and BAP as a bone absorption marker as markers that can be elaborated by blood tests and have almost no the urinal variation. We have been studying 321 women with endometriosis being between the age of 10 and 24 since March 2020. Gonotropin, sex hormones, and bone metabolism markers were measured during the third week of menstruation before treatment. Then, Three months after administration of Dynagest 1 mg, the same test was performed and compared. The closure of epithelial line was confirmed by Lentgen examination of this distal female. So I will show you the result. <clears throat> the value of bone metabolism markers before Dynagest Dynotest 1 mg differed greatly with age. Bone resumption and bone absorption were very high during the epithelial non-closed period. This is a bone elongation period and decreased exponentially after the epithelial line was closed. Divide this into period of bone growth. Then during the bone elongation period, the bone was scrapped a lot and built a lot. Also, bone density gain period. It was found that the bone turnover was higher than that during bone maturation. Next, trap 5 b BAP ratio were calculated to study bone turnover. The TB ratio, TB ratio was the lowest during the bone elongation period and increased linearly with age. For reference, the TB ratio after menopause is 40 or more, which is an index of bone density decrease. The following is a comparison of bone metabolism markers before and three months after administration of Dynagest 1 mg. There was no significant difference between the absolute values of TB trap 5B and BAP, BAP, and the TB ratio during the period of uncrossed epithelial line and increased bone mass. Here is a comparison of gonadotropins before and three months after administration of Dynagest. There were no significant difference in the absolute value of FSH and LH and the LH FSH ratio before and after administration. Here is a summary of what we found from our study. During the bone elongation period, bone turnover is very high due to bone elongation. And the me median value of TRAP-5B is around 1,200. 
After that, scrap and build to form strong bone occurs during the bone density increased period. And when it comes to bone maturity, it has a low bone turnover for maintenance. This is very similar to process of building a building. First of all, there is a, a process of building a scaffolding to extend the building and breaking the scaffolding and extending it again. Then, when the height of the building is decided, the scaffolding is broken to form the building. The final step is to maintain the building. Hormone therapy should be given to ensure that this change is bone turnover is maintained properly. So treatment with the Dinogast 1 mg is effective for adolescent women with endometriosis. In addition to reducing this mineral weight, this drug maintains blood estradiol level and does not affect adolescent bone turnover. It seems that the COVID-19 pandemic will not disappear even if the vaccine becomes widespread in the future. Therefore, treatment of endometriosis with dinogast 1 mg may be useful to reduce the risk of thrombosis and conserve limit medical resources. On the other hand, there is a known a disease starting from the post perimenopause. There are three major factors that inhibit healthy life and care preven prevention. Metabolic syndrome, locomotive syndrome, and dementia. I will talk about the relationship between endometriosis and the bone mineral density. Endometriosis is severe, but not directly related to bone density reduction. Treatment with general rate agonist, Danazol, which is a treatment for endometriosis, causes a decrease in bone density. When Valakisifem is used in combination with general rate agonist as a treatment for endometriosis, it suppresses a decrease in bone density. There is concern that Ovarian function may dec decrease after resection of endometrioma. From above, it is suggested that women with endometriosis may have decreased bone density by surgical therapy and long-term medication therapy. However, replacement of estrogen is concerned with improvement of endometriosis, so suppression of bone density reduction by some is considered to be recommended. Since osteoporosis treatment is long-term, it is necessary to select a drug from a long-term perspective. Hormone replacement therapy, estrogens, and progesterones tend to be used for the short term, two to three years in young menopausal cases, such as young amenorrhoid women and early onset menopause. Also, bisphosphonate is an excellent therapeutic agent. Side effects due to long-term administration, such as jaw bone necrosis and a difficult fracture after also concerned in order to strongly suppress bone resumption. Some improves enhanced bone turnover in a more natural process instead of estrogen reduced by menopause. From these facts, it is considered uh, effective to use some before bisphosphonate use in elder people with long-term treatment. In normal hormone replacement therapy, EPT is performed by estrogen and progesterone. However, WHI reports that systematic administration of two drugs over five years increased breast cancer risk. In addition, it also reports that ET 
by only estrogen decreases the risk of breast cancer. So um, another way to use some. Batadoxifen acts as an agonist on bone tissue. Its action is weaker than um, estradiol, but it has been reported that over the long term, bone density reduction of postmenopausal women is suppressed. In addition, batadoxifen acts as a strong agonist to the endometrium and mammary gland tissue. Basodoxifen acts as a strong agonist even compared to raloxifen and tamoxifen. Therefore, tissue selective estrogen complex, which use basodoxifen, is a combination with estrogen, has uh, endometrial proliferation in inhibitory action and furthermore lowers the risk of breast cancer. This method is considered to be an optimal hormone replacement therapy for women with endometriosis. So uh, this is my summary. When using hormones in gynecology, we need to know about age-related bone metabolism. In addition, based on new knowledge, we would like to introduce new treatments such as TSEC. Thank you for your attention.